B91, madam. Madam Speaker, Mr. DKA, then a Principal Assistant Secretary, was assigned the duties of Secretary to the President with effect from 29th of November 2012. Subsequently, he was appointed Permanent Secretary on the 15th of September 2016 and continued to serve as Secretary to the President until the 3rd of November 2016 when he was transferred to the Ministry of Civil Service and Administrative Reforms. In regard to parts A, B and C of the question, I am informed by the Office of the President that from June 2015 up to 3rd of November 2016, Mr. DKA undertook overseas mission on 21 occasions to the following countries. Uh, USA from 28th to 29th of June 2015 and from 14th to 18th of September 2016. UK from 18th to 26th of July 2015 and from 27th of March to 6th of April 2016, and from 9th of September to 14th of September 2016. Kenya, from 8th of to 12th of September 2015. France, from 11th to 15th of October 2015. China, from 19th to 24th of October 2015. South Africa, from 11th to 13th of November 2015, and from 3rd to 5th of May 2016, United Arab Emirates, from 16th to 18th of November 2015, from 21st to 24th of February 2016, from 19th to 24th of May 2016, and from 11th to 12th of October 2016. Thailand, from 18th to 21st of November 2015, India from the 5th to the 10th of December 2015, Ethiopia from 28th to January to 2nd of February 2016, Pakistan Honorable, from 19th Honorable Prime Minister, to Honorable Prime Minister, is the list long? Because if it is long, then it's better for you to circulate the list with the purpose okay. of the mission. Okay, there are three more countries, but anyway, I'll circulate. Mr. Mr. DKA also accompanied Her Excellency the President on a visit to Rodrigues from 31st of July to 2nd of August 2015. After the 3rd of November 2016, following his transfer to the Ministry of Civil Service and Administrative Reforms, Mr. DKA did not undertake any official mission abroad. Madam Speaker, concerning Part D, of the question. Records indicate that the total cost incurred by government in respect of the overseas missions undertaken by Mr. DKA amounted to 2 million and 57,653 rupees and 84 cents. This amount represents one, seven missions fully funded by government, two, 14 missions partly funded by government in terms of subsistence allowances. In regard to part E of the question, for the 14 missions which were partly funded by government, sponsorship was provided in terms of costs of air tickets and accommodation by the following organizations. Well, I have a list of uh, uh, 10 organizations. Can I name them? No. Oh, you or can circ circulate, or circulate. I will circulate them. Therefore, I'm tabling the information uh, and the purpose of each mission, the duration of each mission, and the composition of the delegations of which Mr. DKA formed part and the funding thereof. Very shocking, Madam uh, Speaker. Can we know from the Honorable Prime Minister this pigeon voyageur of Réduit? Can, can I know whether the Pigeon Voyageur has traveled to Davos. And whether, according to records, any of these missions has been funded by
run by this international crook, Mr. Alvaro Sobrino. Well, I, uh, I, I haven't uh, mentioned Davos is in Switzerland. So, I, from, from the list that I have, I don't see uh, Switzerland. But uh, I can check and, and see whether this. Uh, can I know from the uh, Prime Minister whether this Mr. Prison Voyager DA, Dafapadu, has taken leave without pay and now is an employee of one of the group of Mr. Sobrino and uh, the name Compagnie Vango Property Limited, big name, Vango Property, whether Mr. D. Apadou travaille désormais pour la Compagnie Vango has taken a leave from government. Well, uh, from memory, I can say that he, he did apply to take leave uh, and he was granted leave. Uh, but I, I will find out the name of the company uh, he's working for uh, at, well, at the time then he's taken the leave. Yes. <coughs> this Mr. Padu is the same secretary who has asked VIP 31 times for Mr. Sobrino. The Honorable Prime Minister mentioned that his trips were financed partly by the government and then partly by other association. May I know from the Honorable Prime Minister if he has checked to find out whether any of the organization who financed his trip was related to Alvaro Sobrino? Well, I have a list of the organizations which have uh, sponsored the trip of uh, uh, the person. Uh, now, I have, I have to find out what, who are the people behind those, uh, uh, those organizations. Uh, and uh, of course, I will let you know. Would the Honourable Prime Minister check with the FSC whether Mr. DKA has phoned on eight occasions at the FSC's licensing department with relation to Mr. Alvaro Sobrino's licenses? I will check whether he has phoned. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Could the Honourable Prime Minister tell the House, since this uh, Mr. DKA was on professional leave, how come between, in, from January to, into January 2017, he travelled to Davos accompanying the, Her Excellency, the President of the Republic, to Davos and had access to the VIP in Zurich where arrangements were made for that facility by the Mauritian Embassy based in Geneva? And in what capacity, therefore, did he meet the President of the Republic in Dubai before flying on to Zurich and going to Davos together with the presence felt of this all-powerful Sobrino? I, I am informed that he's on leave without pay since March, 1st of March 2017. Now, I, I don't know, I, I have to check about uh, what you've just said. Uh, yes, last question. Uh, one last question, madam. Can the Prime Minister check this again, Pison Voyageur, I call him now Facilitateur, this uh, Mr. D.A. has been acting as Facilitateur at the State House for the organization of lunches for the big guns of the private sector and also the, the small guns of the government ministers. The, the, the government ministers participating <laughs> in the uh, lunches and not, also, and not to mention also dinners and private parties. Well, Madam Speaker, I, I think this is not really. It's a shame that... Shame? Yeah, but you, you're saying that uh, ministers have attended lunches at the State House. Well, so I... Mean, so Oh, we've so we know yeah. that I don't know. Honorable uh, Prime okay. Minister, but please, anyway, this, your question relates to overseas mission of this person, right? Now, I don't see how your supplementary question gets into this main question. Next question, Honorable Faldo. Can I, can I, I've just been provided with information which has been asked. 
Mr. Apadu did not form part of the official delegation which uh, traveled to Davos. B92. Honorable Baloumoudi, once again. 